Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in this video I'm going to be covering the one, the only Bitcoin as it continues its upwards movement here. Just absolutely brilliant, just absolutely loving this trend. It is so bullish at the moment, like it really, really is. I mean, let's just review really quickly what we saw yesterday, okay? So obviously we saw this run up where we were looking at this 11,100 resistance and you bang against it once, you get these swing failure patterns, so you break the resistance, close back below and drop back down but guess what like we have been seeing for literally the last four months now we've just been seeing higher low higher low higher low <laughs> and you know we get the swing failure and we come down for another higher low and then you get this sort of ascending triangle sort of shape okay so obviously you're banging against these highs again right now you're getting a slight rejection but you know you're just banging against these highs with higher lows and um you know it just seems like there's there's no people that are willing to sell at these prices at the moment okay and then when you do get a big market sell come in it's just bought up okay so this is like really showing of the strength of the uptrend at the moment, okay? And when you stop, you know, you see upper wick, lower wicks, lower wicks, lower wicks, like on the, um, obviously you've got a big demand. You can just, you know, it's all about supply and demand. You can see that the demand is very big. Look at the here, long, long lower wicks, okay? Long lower wicks bought up, bought up. And you're just going to be coming against this resistance again, um, you know, shortly. It looks like we're, we're you know, you, you see that slight sell off on the top of the parallel, but already it's getting bought up. Look at this under one minute okay sell off and already getting like bought up straight away okay so it's like this is a really really bullish trend undeniable at the moment okay all i would say is that when you look how parabolic this has been okay we look at the four hour chart and look at this substantial rise just not long ago at all we were sat at 7.5k now we're at 11k the rise has been extremely parabolic and we are well aware that when um, when the time comes the sell off i really do imagine it's going to be quite grand <laughs> when this rise has been so parabolic obviously the, the retracement is going to be big um you know but uh you know while you maintain this uptrend you are looking to buy the dips it's not like a scenario where of you know I've, I've i've seen the posts now of this like bitcoin going to like 1k or something like this this is a b wave like really not buying it this is such an impulsive uh, move up okay like really clear five waves up when you see five waves up <laughs> it's not characteristic of a b wave let's just put it like this so um yeah really 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 do not believe this is a b wave uh, but obviously as a, as a trader you have to acknowledge that anything's possible but you know this is not a characteristic of a b wave five impulse waves up okay so yeah as we as i wanted to just go over here obviously this is the nice parallel that we've been trading on the short term okay literally highs low high and then you get the partial partial uh, decline coming up against the resistance again okay so these are the key levels that i'm looking at so really we've got some nice key levels on this chart let's zoom this out to the daily a second okay so you can see what we've got going on here is the 382 from low to high 382 sits at oh yes yeah, sits at 9882 so that's a key support and then the four hour that you know the main four hour that you're looking at 8756 okay this is just from this move that we've seen over the last week upwards okay uh, on the grand scheme of things on resistances so though we're obviously looking at uh, really really key to 0.5 region and that's that that's the fibs taken from the swing high overall swing high to overall swing low you're looking at this 11,500 to 11,900 let's just say this region here of 0 0.5 is, is a, a really big region of resistance but you know <laughs> all i'm just saying is do not underestimate the bulls at the moment because obviously 6k was a big resistance and we went straight through it okay just like um 10k was a big resistance and we went straight through it so it's like one of these situations where i wouldn't bet against the bulls at this moment in time i really wouldn't um <laughs> but i also uh really understand that this is is extremely overextended at this point and um you know it's just it's just a case of trading with the trend you know you know it's it's kind of like you know you've all heard the saying the trend is your friend and it really is you do not want to be betting against this trend while there's so much strength and momentum with the bulls um you want to wait for these signs of reversals before you start shorting the uptrend you you know you, you don't need to short the exact top and be the hero okay people don't try to be the hero short you need 6k wrecked people that try to be the hero short in 8k wrecked people trying to be the hero short in 10k wrecked okay so you want to wait for confirmation that's really really key that you wait for confirmation when there's an uptrend like this and um yeah that, that maybe means you miss shorting the first top five percent but then if you can get in after the confirmation of you know this downtrend starting then um you know you you are have a lot more probabilities in your favor okay so um 
you know, that's, that's how I look at this. And, and the way that I like to do it is just like a really unbiased view, like a really, really unbiased view of looking at the chart. Um, just literally say, well, there's a nice trend line support. We obviously have the... Um, Obviously, you have the parallel midpoint here, which you can see as being really, really like nicely respected here. Okay, and then you obviously have your upper resistance, lower support. So this is like how I like to trade, just um, just keeping it really unbiased. Like I, I literally, to be well, I would prefer it to go up, to be honest, actually. But um, <laughs> I, I, you know, at the end of the day, that's my personal opinion. I'd prefer it to go up. But at the end of the day, being a trader, you obviously can make money if this goes up or down from here. So it doesn't really make too much difference to me. Um, but yeah, it would be nice for it to go up. Let, 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 let's see this 11.5k. Uh, let's see how we go at 0 0.5 fib level. <laughs> that would be very nice. Um, <laughs> um, but overall, all I want to say here is alts. Be very careful with alts. You know, you look at you look at some of these alts have just absolutely got destroyed. Really, really, really destroyed. Um, you know, across the board. You just look at alts across the board. Um, you know, you see some a little bit of like well, Neo obviously. Oh yeah, shout out to myself for Neo by the way. I, I must like do this neo <laughs> got this 11 13 dollars entry sold out at 19 dollars. so this was my chart of the week setup that i done and uh look at this so this was my neo entry 13 dollars, and bam that is entry 13 dollars, selling the literally the top wick um yeah that was very nice so shout out to myself or neo <laughs> because that was a very 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 nice trade um but yeah, you know, you, just across the board, really. Okay, just across the board, you obviously can see that alts are, um, yeah, doing very badly. So, um, you know, it's just normal though. It's it's really normal that alts like the um, Bitcoin to be stable. And when you see Bitcoin just so volatile, like moving up, especially when it moves up, it seems at the moment. So when you get a strong movement up, the alts get absolutely wrecked. And the alts time will come. You just have to have patience. There really is no need to be buying altcoins at the moment when Bitcoin's so volatile. All you need is Bitcoin right now. And, you know, if you're buying alts, um, you're getting wrecked, to be honest, unless you're day trading. Obviously, you can day trade some alts, but if you're like swing trading alts at the moment, you're just losing money and you would make more money just sign Bitcoin. Like legit, just truth, you would. So, um, yeah, that's what I just wanted to say there, to be honest. And uh, one final look at those fibs that I was on about. So, obviously, the 3618 is 11,200. Okay, that's obviously where we're seeing resistance at the moment. 234, 236, 11,874. So, that's 11,874. Uh, you know, the big resistance, obviously the higher resistance that we're looking at here is the golden pocket, uh, 13,000 to 14,000. Um, but yeah, we do have like some key supports on the way down that should we, uh, you know, come up to some of these levels, like, um, do, 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 clicked on the wrong thing here. Should we, um, oh, what's happening now? Should we come up and get a rejection at some of these levels? And obviously you do have key supports on the way down as well. So just looking at this really, um, really um, fairly, I guess, and undeniably the momentum is with the balls but the momentum does not last forever momentum does not last forever and nothing goes straight up so um keep your eyes on uh, some key signs that you could get off this chart of when the momentum is dying out and uh you know trade with the trend the trend is your friend it really really is old saying but it really it works so well so yeah keep with the trend Keep your eyes on these resistance levels. I mean, for example, obviously these are our top top higher resistance level targets. But you know, you, should you lose support of this this parallel channel, well, well then you could be trading the parallel channel, okay? And just look at this on the fifteen minute two hundred EMA support support now fifty five support support support. So you have those key EMAs as, EMAs as well. So um, let's keep our eyes on this. Let's keep our eyes on this um, very very healthy, very very nice uptrend. And this is oh yeah, I must end with the Varys joke. So uh, <laughs> on Game of Thrones, there's this such a cool scene. If you don't watch Game of thrones then um or if you don't want to spoil it maybe then pause me for 30 seconds but there's this there's this scene on game of thrones where Varys says the greater the risk well, it's not even a spoiler i guess but he says the greater the risk the greater the reward and he said this in season eight and uh, i posted this as soon as the episode ended lord Varys just said the greatest the greater the risk the greater reward um went straight into a times 100 bitcoin long because this guy is so wise <laughs> And obviously, this was sat, this was at when Bitcoin was eight thousand, and now it's at, at eleven thousand one hundred. So thank you, Lord Varus, R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was funny. Um, but yeah, overall, enough of those jokes. And yeah, there we go. There's 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 the update for you all on Bitcoin. I'm not going to go through any of the alts in this video because obviously they are just all getting wrecked. Um, time and a place will come for those. And I will definitely take full advantage uh, for swing trades. This is day trades. I still happily trade them. But for like swing trading, I will uh, take my time to get a position and build one basically. So um, yeah, thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, 
just stay happy, stay cool, and stay humble. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, so much for all the support. As always, uh, you're, all, you're all amazing, and enjoy the trades. Okay, thank you. Cheers. <laughs>